morning guys and welcome back to a, another week of my life i am hopefully gonna film a little bit more this week i feel like last week it was just like hi bye hi bye and i want to film me doing more this week and that is my plan i am on my way to work right now and i am going to be working the ortho floor i believe but i'm at the bigger hospital system today so we will see and yeah on the days I work, I probably won't be able to film much. I'm just going to put that out there now, but I am working at 8 probably today, so we will do some things when we get home, and that will be my day today. So I will take you guys along. Welcome to a week in my life. Hey guys, I just got home from work. Had three patients all day. I figured I was going to try to eat a snack. I got these new edamame crisps, the sriracha kind, so I figured we would try them. The work was good. I had three patients. I had to hang blood today, but the person did not have IV access, so that was a bummer, nor could we get IV access. I found these on TikTok. Nice little crunch, but I'm going to change and then probably take Doug for a walk. Doug and I decided to go for a walk and we're just taking like a 45 minute, 40 minute walk and then we'll be home and then I'm going to cook dinner. So I will see you guys when we get home. I got home and I'm making, this looks disgusting, but it's like a ground chicken with like a coleslaw Asian like goju jang. I've actually made this recipe several times before. It is from Skinny Taste. This is the recipe if you want to look it up it's on skinnytaste.com and I've always done her recipes love her recipes and they are pretty healthy so this is what I'll be making I just put this with that slaw over rice and call it a day this is the final product as you can see it's like mostly salad looking but it has the ground chicken underneath and then you can probably not see it but there's rice down there and then a lot of slaw to kind of give you the fullness. I also topped it with a little bit more soy sauce and sriracha. Side note, if you aren't watching the Kim Kardashian uh, American Horror Story Delicate, what are you doing? I don't even watch American Horror Story and this has me on the edge of my seat every week. So if you haven't watched Delicate from American Horror Story on Hulu, I highly recommend. It's such a thriller like creepy but like not I can do I usually can't do creepy shows and like this is so, has me on the edge of my seat every week so I would recommend I am going to try this legendary foods pop tart for dessert I don't know about you guys but I was never like a big pop tart fan growing up but I did love me an occasional like strawberry or chocolate pop tart so I'm gonna have this for dessert and then I'll see you guys in the morning I just wanted to update you guys on the Pop-Tart. A little thicker and softer than a regular Pop-Tart. The flavor is kind of there. I don't think I would get these again, but it's not bad. So today has been a slightly eventful morning already. I woke up at like 4.15. I kind of like went to bed at like 9 and woke up at midnight. And then I was up like every two hour or two. And then I woke up at like 4.20 and looked at my staffing app, like where I can see if I'm canceled or where I'm going or whatever. And normally if it says like float pool, I'm getting canceled and it said float pool. So I was like, well, shoot, I'm probably getting canceled. Wait till f I like rest till five. I look at my phone and it says canceled. So I'm like, okay, well. I'm just gonna pick up three to seven, and then I picked up for three to seven tomorrow, so I'm working at 12 tomorrow. And then, not even, probably like 12 minutes later, I get a call from staffing. I'm like, that's weird, they don't call. And they were like, hey, we had a call in, do you wanna come in actually? <laughs> that's how I felt. Like, I was like, oh my gosh. So I was like, yes, of course I'll come in, that's fine. So they removed my shift from 3 to 7 and I'm working the whole day, which I was planning on working the whole day today anyway. And then I, I'm going to work at 12 tomorrow too. It's fine. I want to get my hours in, so I'm not like 
too concerned about it, but I'm going to work a 12 today, 12 tomorrow, and then an 8. So that'll put me four hours over for the week, which will be good because then I'll, I need to probably work a little extra since the weekend between the derby and stagecoach, I'm only going to be working like probably two 12s, maybe one. So I want to like make up the time now. So it is what it is. It was kind of a stressful, more stressful morning. This doesn't always happen, but here recently it's been happening more. They must be getting like more staff from somewhere. That's fine. They need to get staff, but I wish I like knew sooner if I was going to get canceled and I know there's no way to know. So I may just work at the other hospital system for the time being and we will see. But I am going to work today. I'm on a PCU. I'm on a surgical PCU. So this is the floor I used to be a traveler on, local travel. So I am excited. I think it'll be a good day and we will see. Hello guys. So today was good. I was there the whole 12 hours. Now I'm home. I need to shower really bad. My hair is so greasy. And then I'm going to eat dinner. I'm just gonna eat leftovers from last night. And hopefully I work tomorrow. I was originally only gonna work an eight, but I picked up an extra four hours. Probably a good thing, honestly. I, if I could work tomorrow, that would be ideal. So, honestly, this is like the first time I've had issues with being canceled. And it kind of sucks, but we'll make it through. It's not like I'm not too stressed about it just yet. Also, what is this? Why did it come out today? And I also have this. So, I'm going to be wearing a pimple patch tonight. I'm going to shower. Yet another show recommendation now that it's on a commercial Survivor slash deal or no deal island the best show makes my tuesday every week and along with the delicate from yesterday both shows i would recommend you can watch sorry this is gonna be a jump scare you can watch deal or no deal island on peacock and delicate american horror story is on hulu recommend both shows that is what i'm loving right now good morning guys it is now Wednesday. I keep thinking it's like so much later in the week because it feels like it's been a long week. I am going to work today. I'm going to be working at 12 on the step down unit. I made a nice bowl of cottage cheese and berries for breakfast this morning. I give myself a little more time this morning to eat. So I don't need to leave for another like 20 minutes. I've been waking up early for some reason, but... I think it's because I'm working like more days instead of just three twelves. But I'm going to eat my breakfast and head over to the hospital. It will be a fun day. I wasn't originally going to work a 12 today, but since I thought I was getting canceled yesterday, I picked up the extra four today and then I ended up working. So it's fine. We'll make it through. Hey guys, so I just got off work. I'm putting my sunroof down. And I was on the trauma neuro step down today. I was a nurse until three, and then another nurse came in and she was staying from three to 11, so she wanted to take the team from three to 11 if she could, because it's easier as a nurse to like have more time to do things. So I said I'd be a tech, that's fine, I don't care. So I got to be a tech from three to seven, which was fine. I mean, being a tech can be busy, and especially I had like 12 people, one or two of them was off the floor. So it wasn't too bad. And the nurses were super helpful. Like they got blood sugars and stuff for me. So yeah, not so bad. And now I'm on my way home and it's still bright outside and it's literally seven o'clock. So I'm gonna make my way home and Ian should have dinner hopefully ready for me when I get home. Hey guys, I realized I didn't even like chat to you this morning before work. I guess I just got sidetracked, but I was a tech today on neuroscience for eight hours. 
super easy. I had like seven patients most of the day and most of them discharged. And now I'm heading home. I might take Doug for a walk when I get home just because it's so nice outside. But it is supposed to storm this evening, so we will see. I don't think it's supposed to start till like 5.30, so we might have time for a walk. It's about 3.10 now. Probably get home like 3.45-ish, so. We should have time to take a little walk. I'll look at the weather before we go, but that is my plan. And yeah, I will see you guys when I get home. Sorry about not checking in before work. So the walk is a little short-lived because of the weather. It kind of looks like it's gonna rain. It may not look like that in this clip, but it it's not looking great and I just checked the weather. It said 95% rain at five and it's currently about 420. We have walked a solid 11 minutes. So we're just gonna head back towards our house and should be back and avoiding the rain. What happened to our power? I need to watch TV. <laughs> Ian and I went to dinner down the road at like an Irish pub and it stormed and we missed the whole thing. <laughs> we came back and there was trees in the road, branches falling down, our power's out. We knew it was storming, but not this bad. So it stormed for like maybe 15 minutes <laughs> and there's... We were two minutes up the street, and... Doug was all in. by himself. He's fine. So, power outage number two in this house. Let's hope it's not like the last. That lasted all weekend. And all our fridge stuff pretty much went bad. Good morning, guys. Last night, I ended up going to bed pretty early. I, like, laid down and eventually just fell asleep. But I am going to fill up my weekly pills and vitamins while I'm making coffee. It is Friday morning and it's about 8 o'clock. finished our walk. I came home and ate leftover pasta from Wednesday or Thursday night I think we made it. Or Wednesday night I think. And I keep thinking it's Saturday but it's Friday. And then I put on my like free people set. I think I showed it in my Tampa vlog. Probably Orlando vlog. And Tampa vlog probably. Anyways I am watching TV. I ate my lunch and here in a little bit, I'm going to be headed to UPS and then to get my eyebrows done. Basically, get them done for stagecoach. But I'll take you guys along. And I'm just getting them laminated and tinted. Because they will look... I got, I'm getting them done like a week early because they will look crazy afterwards today. Like a little dark. But they'll start they'll fade a little bit over the week and they'll look perfect for a stagecoach and then afterwards i'm going over to my friend emily's apartment and we're gonna ride to go to my friend katie's dress fitting for her wedding so well not fitting just trying on wedding dresses so we can be there to support her and that is the plan for today the dress thing is at five so and my appointment's at 2 15. So I got about two hours before my appointment, so. Okay guys, I am off to UPS to drop off my stuff that I was gonna return to Amazon. I'm actually 
returning this little pearl pouch perch thing. It's just too small. I didn't like the handle on it. I wanted something that I could like wear across my body and not have to like hold all day. So I'm returning that. I do like it. It's very cute. I just think it'll be annoying throughout the day. And then I'm gonna return my disc belt. I am gonna be wearing a disc belt for Stagecoach. I just don't want this one. It's a little smaller and ASOS had one today on their website for my size. So hopefully, if it doesn't, I'm gonna be screwed. But hopefully it fits because this today was the last day for me to return this one to Amazon. So I'm gonna return this and then I'm crossing my fingers that my ASOS one comes in and looks fine. If it doesn't, we will try a different route, but I think it will be okay. And so that one should be coming in in two days. And I'll return this one. If not, I'll try to order another one on Amazon and cross my fingers that it gets here in time. But I'm going to head to UPS and return these two things and then come back and probably leave for my appointment shortly after. I just wanted to show you guys my brows. They look amazing as per usual. Uh, Lex at Wisteria Inc. used to be Wink Beauty Studio and now it's Wisteria Inc. because they went like independent so would recommend it is in town and country and i'm gonna head to i think i'm gonna go to nordstrom rack because i haven't been this week so that is my plan <music> We did end up buying some stuff. I showed you guys that shirt in the uh, changing dressing room, whatever. And I got that. I thought that was really cute. It's like preppy style. And then I got this cute like bucket woven bag. It's by Anne Klein. But I thought it was adorable. I thought that would be perfect for summer. So I got that and the shirt. So I'm gonna head to Emily's now and I'll see you guys when I get there. <laughs> Probably couldn't see very well earlier. I just got home and Katie found her dress. It was very pretty, I loved it. It was like the best dress for her, honestly. So we, me and Mallory and Emily drove together. We jammed out to Taylor Swift the whole way, obviously. And yeah, I got a package. So I'm gonna open it and see what it is. Oh, it's from ASO's package. It's probably some jewelry. It's just me and Doug tonight. Ian's at work. see what I got from ASOS. This is a pair of sunglasses. There's some funky sunglasses for Stagecoach, hopefully. I feel like I hate the order stuff all the time, and you guys are probably like, this girl spends so much money, which I do. I spend a lot of money that I probably shouldn't. So, these are the glasses. The side is actually on the bottom, which is cool. I thought these would be fun for a festival. They're pretty cool. Picture like a cowboy hat, western vibes, and then these are like super funky. Cool. Like those. I got these for the derby. They're a little smaller than I anticipated, but they are still very cute. They're little pearl earrings with bows. Those are adorable. I thought these would be fun for something stagecoach. I just had to have them. Honestly, they look so cute and they still look very cute. I just thought they were like a fun silver earring. They're like flowers. 
and huge and big and I'll make them work somewhere. <laughs> and then the last thing I got was just this pearl bracelet for the derby. I don't have a lot of bracelets, so I wanted to start adding some. And that is everything I got at ASOS. All very cute. I'm going to go ahead and eat my leftovers from last night and watch some TV. Good morning, guys. I am currently making my coffee. I put some whole pork in the slow cooker for tonight for dinner. And I have laundry going, so my hair appointment's at 10. So I'll leave here about 9.15 and stop at the bank on the way because I have to pay in cash. But other than that, it's about 7.45, so we got about an hour and a half. I'm going to go through and try to pick out meals for this week. Because I'll probably have to cook majority of them tomorrow now that I'm thinking of it. So I'll probably have to do some shopping today for lunches and dinners. Hey guys, so I just got to my hair salon, hair appointment I guess, and I got here like 20 minutes early, so I'm just going to kind of hang out for a minute, go in about 10 minutes. Afterwards, I'm going to go drop off my Abercrombie return, because you can do it in stores I guess, but... I prefer to mail it back, but I didn't really have anything in stores. There is a Jeep next to me, and I'm considering ducking it, but I feel like I'm just going to hold off. I got all those ducks, and I want to duck people, but we'll see. Okay. I will show you guys my hair when I get home, but it's definitely more blonde. It, and it's still wet because I told her she didn't, she was running behind. She had She like squeezed me in today, and I was like, you don't have to dry it all the way. That's totally fine. But I see my cousin at Trinity Salon. It's off Merrimack Bottom Road in like off 55, closer to Arnold. And she does such a good job and I, she always squeezes me in. So I'm like, just do what you can. I didn't even get it cut today. Cause I was like, I don't want it cut. I just want more blonde. And that is what we did. But it's always nice seeing her. And now we're gonna go to the mall to return my Abercrombie package. And I will see you guys in a little while. So I stopped at Trader Joe's and went to get some groceries. These groceries better last for the next two weeks. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. But I got like three packs of chicken, two packs of salmon, a pack of ground beef. So hopefully, since I'll be out of town, we won't need anything for two weeks at least. So that is why I bought so much. And now I'm gonna go home. I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. My hair is nice and blonde and I love it. Just what I wanted. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's. I got three big bags. I also got Amazon packages so we can open those up. what I got from Amazon first. I got two Amazon packages. I swear after these next two weeks I'm done spending money. But the first package I got was this H necklace. I found this on Alex Haven's TikTok. Uh, I don't know if you guys know her but she's like a big thrifty gal like does like try on hauls and stuff and she always wears this necklace and I think it's adorable so I went ahead and got myself one I wasn't sure about the actual chain itself but let's see how it looks the gold's a little different than what I'm used to but it's this H but it's just a big chunky H. I think that's cute. Layered with some jewelry. Thought that'd be fun. And then I got another hand of oh, this one's Ian, so it's not mine. So, Trader Joe's. Let's take you guys through it. I am doing 
more Trader Joe's stuff so that I could keep it frozen because the next two weeks I'm going to be traveling a lot. So I got my favorite Mandarin chicken. I got two bags actually of that. And then I got, this is more for Ian, but I figured they'd be good to try. They're the spicy, hot and spicy wings, chicken wings. The employees working there that were checking me out said they were really good. Um, then I got country potatoes with mushrooms and green beans. You'll notice a lot of those and stuff. I got seasoned Brussels sprouts. Two packs of the cauliflower fried rice. This stuff is really good if you don't like cauliflower too much. I feel like that's a good start. I got some broccoli. I got turkey meatballs. These meatballs are actually really good. If you're looking for frozen meatballs. I got roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. Lots of like little sides things. Um, this is new to me. It's the shiitake mushroom chicken. Looked pretty good, so we'll try that. Uh, this one's ripped. Ian really likes this pizza, so I got him this as well. He said it's, oh, and it's upside down. Spicy meat pizza. I got some hard-boiled eggs because they're supposed to be really good for you. So I was like, well, I'll try them. I got mushrooms, bell peppers to put in eggs in the mornings. Uh, if I'm at Trader Joe's, I'm always getting this little Asian stir-fry. It's always good with a meat and some rice. I got two of these crunchy slaw salads. They're like my favorite salad there. It's like just enough crisp and the dressing's really good. And it's not terrible for you. I got two salmons, probably one for this week, one for next week. I got three packs of chicken breasts because you can never have enough of either of those, chicken or salmon. And then I got one pack of ground beef to maybe make like burgers one night. And then I got almond milk for my coffee. And then I wanted to try this almond cashew macadamia nut beverage for my coffee. I only got one just in case I didn't like it. Bananas. And grapes. And that is everything I got at Trader Joe's. I'm going to put this all away now. The Circle is literally my favorite show on Netflix besides like Too Hot to Handle. And they just came out with a new season. So I'm watching it. And this guy sucks at this game. <laughs> so even though it's like a pretty nice day outside, I'm going to walk on my walking pad just because I want to watch The Circle. And I've been outside already today. It is like on the chillier side. Doug got an hour long walk yesterday so I don't feel horrible. But tomorrow I will definitely take him on one. But I just want to watch the circle. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do an hour walk on the walking pad. And go from there. Okay guys, so it is now about 6 o'clock. I'm watching Jessica Jones on... Disney Plus because I'm trying to get through the Marvel movies still if you've been watching my vlogs and I'm gonna ma eat my pulled pork coleslaw sandwich with a little extra pulled pork and my Diet Coke. I have basically been editing some like to know it posts because I haven't really posted on there. I just like go through phases where I post in bulk on that and then I won't post for a while but I am trying to get a little better about that this year and I want to edit my YouTube video for this vlog tonight so that I can get it up on Monday. So that is what I'll be doing the rest of the night.
Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>